simple as just to be told by this guy be so talking to me. Too much, we talk too much. Morning class. All right, so today's topic in how not to suck at teaching is staying current with the times. All right, so there's um, the one of the hot words now is STEAM and STEM. Um, so those of you in education already know what STEM is. STEAM is the new integration, which I'm a big supporter of because it includes art this time. Uh, that's what the A is, if you can't figure out what art. So I was reading an article on Engadget this morning, and it was on how there's Indian researchers who are at using fish scales to create nano generators where they can provide an electrical current across a biometrical interface. Uh, why this is cool is because then you can have biodegradable pacemakers, pacemakers that can uh, that can safely biodegrade within the system, because you can only they can only work for so long, anyways. <clears throat> but you can also have them using the pulse of the human heartbeat to run the machine, which is really cool. Uh, to flexible and consumer electric, flexible and bioelectrical consumer electronics uh, there was a there's a contact lens that I saw back in 08 that they were trying to incorporate to run off of bioelectrical impulses so that you could have then a computer integrated into your eyeball so that you can see a digital interface off of your retina and the bioelectrical inter, uh, is being conducted by the um, I want to call it eye saliva but that's not the word it's but anyways that like liquid that's in your eyeball that's not the tears because uh, you're not crying about how this is so awesome you're running the electrical impulses through your own body i think that is awesome that we're i mean it's it's human machines but you're you're doing something cool something progressive that is just fascinating and i'm all for doing something new and something intriguing stay current with what is actually out there so that as you're teaching your students you're trying to stay two steps ahead of what they might be reading that way when they come to you and ask a question hey what does this mean you can provide an accurate answer i'm a big i'm a big fan of tech i, I have all my students know that from the kind of the get-go of, of class time for me is that i'm a big techie i love i love tech news i love playing with computers i love breaking things and then putting them back together that's kind of my thing it's a it's it's a hobby it's a great fun hobby though i'm dying to get myself a raspberry pi and some adreno hardware just because i would like to be able to code better than i already am I, i've taught code a couple times when i was teaching scratch but I like to be ahead of that curve and, and to have students who, oh, that you, we can do this now. Yeah, you can do this now, and I'm and I'm a big supporter of that. And I I, th I think that uh, that by doing that, you're also trying to curb delinquent behavior because you're trying to get these kids in in uh, focus in something much more tangible that they can start playing with now. Because let's be honest, at the end of the day, you have two types of students: you either have a self-driven students or b not self-driven students, which is most of them. And you have to get, find that hook that they that you're going to get them interested in in whatever you're teaching. And for you to get that hook is being something popular and current that they don't know yet or they know a little bit about and they want to know more and deep diving into those conversations with them to create that much more fundamental educational experience that is grossly engaging and incorporates them into multiple levels that they didn't know they were capable of and you didn't know they're capable of and at the end you had this great experience together all right class other than that that's about it for the day i'm gonna go i got some um I got a lot of uh, videos I got to start working on for um, trying to get everything set up for my for my classes. Uh, we got to do some slab techniques. I got to go over how I'm going to talk about slab techniques, and then I got to do some interviews. Um, so if you watch all my channels, uh, remember TriFire Studios, the TriFire Vlog, Art Talk, Art on the Table with Mr. G is uh, is my interview channel. Um, and then I think I still have like three more. Why? Because I just am a YouTube hog. I just I just have so much stuff. All right. So other than that, I'll catch you guys later. You guys have a good class. I will see you next class. Ciao.